All right, and finally, number 412. Uh, probably, at least when I first started uh, um, seeing uh, stuff on the internet way back in the day, uh, this was kind of the biggest one that I saw. Yeah, that this I is saw. again another one about sin. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And it's always good to, to talk about sin and, and what it does and our true understanding of what sin is because. Um, uh, especially when when you read Romans, you you have to come away understanding um, that you know here here God is sovereign, but also what does our sin do, and why is it so important that uh, you know we we mortify the flesh? It's because sin has that greater um, resistance against God, and it's it's so uh, uh, completely separate from who God is that we need to view it in light of that. So four twelve says, "Is there an unforgivable sin?" Uh, yes, according to uh, Matthew 12, 31, 32, and the same story is, is repeated in Mark and Luke. But no, says Acts uh, 13, 39. So, is there an unforgivable sin? And the most noted story about it says, Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or the age to come. And now, of course, that's... Uh, Jesus talking to the Pharisees. Uh, however, Acts thirteen thirty nine says, And by him everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. So, which is it? Yeah. So here, is there an unforgivable sin? But, uh, Lyle wants us to understand that this is failure to read the text carefully and uh, specious reasoning. Yes, when people continually reject the Holy Spirit, you know, his testimony concerning Christ, like this story in Matthew uh, right. chapter 12, and then they, and you know, they die without uh, accepting Christ, then of course they're not forgiven, right? right? So a continuous rejection of, uh, uh, of uh, you know, of the Lord Jesus Christ and the, and the Holy Spirit's testimony of Christ can result in not being forgiven, mm -hmm. right? So, in fact, we can even become harder and harder in that case and you know, folks can and then and then seal their fate so to speak mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so here uh, you know what what has Christ done he has performed miracles the pharisees have seen it they've seen his testimony they've seen um his uh, exegeting God's word and teaching and uh they see all these things that point to who Christ is they should know more than anybody um the signs of of the messiah and when confronted about it, they go, well, clearly he's from the devil. He's, he's a, you know, the son of Beelzebub. And that's when Christ repeats his, uh, you know, can, can, can uh, you, you won't be forgiven because you've seen so much of the spirits acting in, um, in concert with who Christ is that, um, um, th th there's, there's no way for them to, to come, um, after rejecting that much, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, you know, is is it uh, impossible to have the unforgivable sin today? I would say, unless if you're actively seeing a special working by God, which is I would say rare to non-existent. Uh, no, it can't happen today. However, uh, rejection of Christ can happen. Yes, and failure to uh, you know to uh, adhere to the to the. Um, the, the preaching of the gospel mm -hmm. and being obedient to the gospel right. can can cause us to that is sin, mm -hmm. and of course that's not forgiven because we're not accepting the righteousness that God has for right. us, and so we could say in effect that that's the unforgivable sin, but it's not this obvious, yeah. you know, enlightened time where Jesus was there in their face, the Holy Spirit was making uh, all of these. Uh, miraculous things happening mm -hmm. and they were rejecting him. So, you know, the unforgivable sin really technically is um, is unbelief. And it was here, it was unbelief when Jesus Christ was being uh, publicly displayed as the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so, but technically, yes and no here. <laughs> right? Is what you, I think that's where you were headed right. with that. Right. right?